FAX means Future Automotive Cockpit and Storage. And basically, with this project, we decided to embrace the challenge of designing the future interiors of uh, light commercial vehicles, also known as LCVs. There are a lot of innovations for private vehicles, a lot of innovation in the autonomous driving also, but very few that concern the interiors of the cockpit of the light commercial vehicles, although it represents a large population, a large uh, range of customers. So for this project, uh, we discussed with, uh, with Stellantis at the beginning to, to set up uh, a team, uh, different partners, and after making the briefing, we say, okay, let's work on it. And we started. Today's light commercial vehicles often propose a ton of options and it can turn overwhelming. In this project, we identified five key user profiles representing our customers and we thought about how a modular cockpit could better fit their needs by proposing specific cockpit configurations according to their profile. For example, the people buying a van as a shuttle have quite different expectations of the vehicle from those using it to do camping. The big advantage with autonomous driving is to gain time to do other activities, okay, such like walking, making a phone call to your friends, to your family, checking your next mission brief for, for your next stop. So, in FAX project, we focused on designing the interior cockpit that is suitable for workers in a context of level 3 or 4 autonomous driving. As a, as a design uh, part of the project, um, we, uh, we focused on three things which had to be seamless between them. Um, we were involved in initial studies. Um, from this, we generated concepts. Uh, in form of sketches uh, done in a, a team between uh, SAYA and, and ISAT using teachers, students and professionals. Uh, and then from this it moved into the design part which was more of a visualisation and the realisation of certain aspects of the interior. Um, the nice part of it uh, was uh, the initial studies where we actually had to go and speak to the, uh, uh, the drivers, um, see actually how they use the space um, spend the day with them, um, see about their drinks, the food, the, uh, the activities, the, the products they put into the space. So this information was uh, all gathered up and we tried to find modes in the, uh, in the work so that we can uh, um, focus on different aspects of the interior to make uh, solutions. With commercial vehicles, you really have potential of economical gain because it's time, time is money, and during the day of your work in the vehicle, uh, being able to do other activities will allow you to be uh, more efficient economically for your company. So there is a huge potential in investing in the design of cockpits uh, of LCVs. Uh, style and mechanical engineering uh, have been working very closely uh, and in a very iterative way of developing these uh, dreams that are being carried out to until the prototype but with all the maturity associated with all the technical features. We had um, um, uh, drawings from, uh, from sea moulds with uh, about the van, so we had the general dimensions, and then we had to convert our sketches, um, which are rather sort of rough, uh, into these spaces. Um, the the, the mock-ups and the models that we made uh, in our workshops downstairs uh, were towards the end of our intervention. Um, they were a scale uh, mock-ups, so we could actually interact with them in a, in a sense of reality. Um, that we could see the ergonomics and uh, the, uh, the, the distances and the surfaces and things on the, uh, on the objects themselves. I asked the team to get a very constrained approach um, with safety and technical requirements that are very constraining because I did not want us to reach to a concept car. The idea is really to get a cockpit that we can industrialize in a short term. So it means maturity, 
and also technical accuracy and requirements completely fulfilled. And this is, this is critical for, for these customers especially because they have specific expectations of the cockpit of the future. So to this extent, we worked very closely with Stellantis product marketing team from the beginning to, to get a real accuracy in the design from the initial studies to the final prototyping. And to do this, we used a Peugeot Boxer X250 body and white as reference for all our buildings, all our creations, so that we are working in an environment that is measured and that is with all the technical constraints of a real vehicle. Uh, our ambition with FAX was to design uh, a future cockpit uh, and ensure feasibility, uh, ensure short time to market uh, and very disruptive solutions. To achieve uh, the phase of prototyping we had to involve a lot of teams, different teams from style, from engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, uh, and also we embedded uh, uh, also a layer of UI UX design. Fax project, it's a complete cockpit. It goes from door panel to the roof storage to the dashboard. We thought about a complete cockpit because everything is essential in the design of the interior and everything is complementary for uh, the fulfillment of the expectations of the customers. The, uh, the briefing at, at the beginning uh, was quite clear about uh, the, uh, the, the problems in current vehicles. Um, this was um, um, given to us uh, uh, as a design team and we actually focused on those, uh, those problems. Of course we had uh, some freedom because uh, our intervention uh, on, inside the cockpit um, had focus areas about the dashboard, the door, the roof and uh, uh, other elements that we could actually store things inside the space but uh, the actual um, inspiration came from the user um, and uh, we actually implemented that uh, to create solutions for, for potential and new users. Uh, so we started with uh, several studies uh, regarding uh, architectures for the, these modules that we were developing and with many iterations with style teams, engineering teams, developing with VR, with uh, CAD, with uh, prototyping and achieve uh, the best solution that uh, we dreamed of. We sought to transform accessories into solutions for OEM production line. FAX Modwork Cockpit allows to easily change significant dashboard parts to answer the different needs of the LCD customers. Optimized processes were not only studied at CMOLS but also on the Stellantis factory line to evaluate OEM production constraints and identify opportunities of improvement to implement in the product design itself. Uh, we used uh, a lot of uh, VR models in, uh, in this uh, development because it, it gave us a lot of uh, answers before physical prototypes and we could iterate uh, in digital world uh, all the solutions that we were developing. Competitiveness was also a strong motive in our project, which is not the case in all innovation projects. And as key automotive supplier, it is our job to design uh, products that are compatible with the reality of the market and the expectation of the OEM customers. And in this project, to, to do this, we did a lot of costing design reviews to be as much cost effective as possible. We killed a lot of things, but at the end we saw that we managed to maintain just the essential of the products and we just got purified designs. I think now it's time to, to show you what we've done. So 
So welcome to the interior of Fax Cockpit. First of all, we have completely redesigned the dashboard. So you have infotainment and a lot of digital equipment. First of all, a wide 20 inches instrument cluster for the driver, central infotainment of 13 inches, digital retrovision left, right and central here. You have a modular dashboard which is fitting the different needs of uh, the different users of this vehicle with interchangeable part here, passenger module, glove box module, and central module. You have also equipment like high performance thin air vents, three cup holders with a retractable one here, and we have thought this dashboard for professional users. So you have a mobile work office with storage here behind the cluster, which is quite deep. So you can store umbrella or bottle, whatever you need. You have here storage for A4, A4 documents, portfolios, so you can have everything you need for your, your work. And we have also here um, tablets, extended tablets, to use it for, for example, laptops or iPads. So you can put your laptop here and just work when you are in autonomous mode or in the pose, for example. So, let me show you the rest of the dashboard. Let's go to the other side. So here you have a variety of different modules. So you have empty modules, you have induction module, you have fully closed module, and these are just examples. You can have other one, you can build in the future, upgrade your vehicle as you wish. So let me show you one example. So at the moment we have a refrigerated module. So this module has been designed for the purpose of having a lunch or a snack during the trip. So here you can see for example two lunch boxes, two Coca-Cola cans, two iced tea cans and uh, it fits so for two or three passengers for their needs on a, on a journey. Okay, so this is refrigerated module and you can switch this module for another one. So when I take it, it disconnects from the dashboard and I can switch it, for example, for a module which is induction module. So here, with the same interface, I just plug a new module. And this is the induction module where I can have an iPhone or an iPad directly uh, charging and being ordered by the system. So for example here, I have the order and I will put my smartphone here like this and it's charging. So this is also compatible with iPads. So for example, if I have an iPad, thanks to these arms, you can just push like this and secure your iPad. It's fully secured in this module and you still keep uh, quite nice storage on top uh, for all the documents or all the objects. If you need to hide your device because you need to go out of the vehicle, you can just hide it in the module. And here it's completely invisible and protects from robberies. You have Another possibility, for example, is to have a completely empty module. So here you have a passenger module, but you have also the central module and the glove box module. So this one is also changeable for another profile. For example, you take it. Here you have some fixations that are common to uh, the other modules. And you can switch it for this extra legro module, which is much more deep for the legs. And you can just plug it like, like this. And now you have more space for your legs. Now I'm going to show you another module, which is the empty module. So here you have all the fixations that are common to this dashboard. So this is why you can change module as you wish. So let's plug the empty module. And here you have a lot of space available in your light commercial vehicle. So there is something else I want to, to, to tell you. 
This is a customizable trim, so you can change the decor of your vehicle with this part uh, dedicated to the airbag. This is the volume for the passenger and the central passenger when there is one. And on that side, on the steering wheel, you have the airbag for the driver. In case this airbag is not sufficient for both position, autonomous or manual mode, you can also use the, uh, the storage here on top of a cluster to fit a bigger airbag. And here we have a large dropping area with induction charging also for your telephone. So you can put your device here also or any object you want. The user has different displays, the instrument cluster and this vertical central infotainment where he can choose his, his profile. For example, his name is Matthew and he has a welcome interface just for him so he can access his Spotify playlist or also just check the state of his vehicle. So in this cockpit, you also have a large overhead storage with a digital roof console. So first of all, you have an highly uh, efficient and large LED panel with welcome source and map reading light left and right, for example, that you can completely deactivate by touch. So here you have also the SOS e-call button and also the service button in case of accident or need of technical assistance. You have a DIN storage suitable for tachograph, CB or another auto radio, for example. And here you also have the toll device storage, so you can change the toll device according to the current user of the vehicle. And you can just insert it here. Here you have the digital retrovision, central retrovision, which is also very interesting to prevent from robberies. Uh, because you have a full bl black panel between the cockpit and the cargo area. And behind the central screen, you have a package for the ADAS systems and the rain light sensor. This overhead storage is special in the sense that we design a retractable storage shelf to prevent user from shocking his head and gain some headroom. So basically, here this is the nominal position of uh, this overhead storage and you can close it to gain some headroom and to prevent from head shock. So this is a, a very interesting feature. Here you have a sun visor with two holes to check the content of your capucine. So for example, you see here I see that I have a jacket here and if I want to access the ja this jacket, I can just open the storage, but also I can open to another position, which is temporary, access my belongings, my objects, and close the shelf to the driving position. This is a secure position. It can be open or closed according to your needs. So speaking of autonomous driving, this cockpit has been designed for level three and four autonomous driving. So you can have moments where you uh, give the steering and the driving responsibility to a vehicle. And in that case, you just need to push on the automatic uh, button. So the steering wheel just retracts towards the dashboard and uh, the arc of the steering wheel, we just also retract uh, to the bottom part. So you can access to a better view of your instrument cluster. You have more space for secondary activities. And this is what's really interesting with autonomous driving. You can enjoy this free time for other activities like eating in the vehicle, walking or just uh, resting a bit or watching a movie, for example. So now let's have a look to the door panel. This is a completely redesigned door trim with three levels of storage. We have an upper storage, a middle storage and a lower storage. This upper storage has been designed for small items like a lump, some biscuits, pen, so you can access it very easily from the driving position. You have large capacity storage here in the middle with a capacity of two bottles of 1.5 liters, easily reachable also uh, by the driver. And you have a lower storage, which is uh, for additional space 
for some items you might need one day, for example, a safety jacket. We have also something very interesting here for the camping car version. It is a small cover that you can remove to put an additional lock. This allows you to secure even more your vehicle when you are doing camping, and this is a very uh, desired feature by the users of this vehicle as camping. You have here a door trim also, which is customizable to fit the different users of this vehicle. You can move from high-end version to a more cheap, uh, to a cheaper version, uh, for example, according to, to your needs. And finally, you have here a triangle that you can access easily thanks to this patented specific vertical storage. So you can just put it back here, slide it here. It's very accessible. You can see it when you are opening the door and you have one in the two door trims. So this is the end of this fax cockpit presentation. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions about the solutions we developed or the innovation, you can contact us at Simoldes Plastics and we'll be happy to help you. Thanks a lot for watching and bye-bye.